Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. I'm in the car again, and you join me today as I set off on a road trip to Scotland and back. Bear in mind, I live in Bournemouth on the south coast of England, so I'm going right up the country to Scotland and then back again. So in the next couple of days, I'm going to be covering a few miles, and I want to show you exactly what it's like with an electric car. I still get those comments, you know, uh, I do a lot of miles every day, and I'm not sure electric car's right for me, or I do a trip to the Alps in winter, and I need, want to take my Range Rover. Well, let me take you along on this trip and I'll show you kind of what I get up to, how much charging time I spend and how much of an inconvenience charging an electric car would be on a pretty big road trip. About the bigger road trip as you can do in the UK. Again, I'm down the country, it's about as far as we can get really, isn't it? So uh, welcome, join me and I'll show you. So what's the plan exactly? Well, my dad has graduated, he gets his PhD, so he's Dr. Simons now, I'll have you know, uh, in German art history for anyone who's interested. Uh, so I'm going to go up for his graduation ceremony at lunchtime tomorrow. Uh, so that means travelling today from uh, Bournemouth right up to Glasgow, where I'm going to stay tonight with him in his flat there. Now, I did the school run this morning. I've been in the car since 8am and I've already done some errands. It's now 11am. Look. And I'm only in Bath. I'm in a beautiful city of Bath. But what am I doing here? Well, on the way out, I've dropped one of my colleagues off to Warminster. We were collecting a Porsche Taycan to go back to the showroom. And then I've just dropped my colleague Gintz off to Bath to collect a Tesla Model X to go back to the showroom. So I'm doing a couple of errands on the way out. But now I am setting off for the trip to Glasgow. So I'll show you along the way what we've got for charging and efficiency and all that kind of thing. But what car am I in? I am in probably what my favourite car for long distance travel around the UK. I love the Porsche Taycan, but I'm in the Tesla Model S Long Range. And the Tesla Model S Long Range is really one of my preferred. I always, the Model Y is great, the Model 3 is great. I always come back to the Tesla Model S and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, but primarily we've got great range, good efficiency and ease of charging. Those are the three main things. So they apply to all Teslas, but the Model S long range, I've done so many big journeys in this and I've set a record from Edinburgh to London non-stop, 425 miles in a Tesla Model S long range, non-stop. And I think I'm still the only one to have ever done non-stop in an electric car. I think it was a record. I haven't got Guinness certification or anything like that, but I think that's a record. I'll claim that one until somebody tells me better. So you can do the range, but with that journey, I was certainly sort of trying, you know, I was just going a little bit slower. I wasn't going slow on the motorway, but kind of truck speed, 60 miles an hour to kind of make that range happen. But what I'm going to do in this journey is just get on with it. I mean, it's 11 a.m. now and I'm only in Bath, so I've got distance to cover and I'm having dinner with my dad tonight. So uh, this is going to be real world, you know, just, just making ground as quick as possible and, um, you know, seeing then what we get for efficiency and, and charging much more kind of real world uh, speeds. You know, I'll be outside laying the motorway going as quick as I can, officer, uh, within the legal limits, of course, as always. And so it'll be interesting to see, you know, how much charging time will, will we need um, and compared to combustion car stoppage time and the fuel costs and all that associated with that. I just don't see the need for having a combustion car. If you could, you could give me the most luxurious uh, Bentley, which does 60 miles per gallon, and I still wouldn't want to do it in that car. And hopefully this journey will show you why that I think a car like this, especially the Model S Long Range, is just a fantastic car, and that charging is not of any inconvenience. It's very easy, and it's a still, well, it's gone up cheaper than fuel as well. So, And it's greener. I'm not going to put any emissions out. I mean, I could fly to Glasgow fairly cheaply, fairly easy, fairly quickly. But that's okay, it's an easy enough journey to drive and it won't really cost me. Now, this Model S is a 2019 car with 43,300 miles on the clock. It's a 2019 car, what we call the Raven, so that's when they're badged as dual motors and uh, they're slightly different to the earlier 100D, so it's very much like an S100D. Uh, but the key thing with the 2019 onwards is that the we've got a, a more efficient uh, front motor. I think it's a Tesla Model 3 motor, and we've also got adaptive air suspension in this as well. And that leads me on to why I really do like the Model S for journeys like this. I love the Model 3s and Model Ys, great efficiency, fast charging, but this is just a smoother ride. I've always said to everybody that the Model S 
is really a, just a fantastic car. I always go back to Model S. And um, this car here with 43,500 miles has obviously covered a few under its belt. So is it still good at long distances now? Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? These are the last few little bits of corners as I come up to the uh, M4 motorway and then I'll be joining. And I went to the toilet not long ago, so I'm going to try and put in a fairly decent stint to see how far up the country I get before I need a charge. But I mean, 10 past 11, I'll probably be hungry before the car needs to stop anyway, but uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, everybody, my first real stop of the day. So I'm up near in Charlotte Richard Services now, I'm just north of Liverpool, Manchester. So I've still got a fair way to go to get to Glasgow. But having covered 268.6 miles today, and 209 miles, three hours, 50 minutes since I last got out of the car, I'm about ready for a toilet and maybe a snack or something like that. Uh, let's just show you what that is in kilometers. So it saves in a conversion later. So it's 148 watt hours per kilometer since the last charge, 144 on that last leg there. This car is very, very efficient for its size. And you think, uh, by the way, I've still got 25% of the battery left so the car doesn't need to actually stop. I could actually drive to the Scottish border and actually the Gretna Green services on this charge still, uh, but um, I need to stop first. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug in and go. Okay, well I didn't mess around. There's a toilet, I got myself a KFC, so I've eaten. It's uh, 2.40 p.m. So I've been here for 30 minutes and I'm up 80% state of charge. Heading off for Glasgow. <laughs> Well, as is often the case, I need to stop before the car does. I've still got 32% battery, but I've been going for two and a quarter hour since that last stop, and I have need that, that, and I've drunk that as well. So I need to make a quick pit stop. So I'd have 23% when I get to Glasgow, so I certainly don't need to stop at all, or well, the car doesn't need to stop, but I'm gonna make a quick pit stop there. And I may as well plug in whilst I'm having a wee. So I'm gonna make a quick pit stop at Abington, superchargers just for a few minutes whilst i uh, relieve myself feels like you know we're coming to scotland okay temperature's been dropping down from about 25 degrees celsius to 17 now it's been cloudy there's actually been a few spots of rain and i feel a little bit underdressed in shorts and flip-flops to be honest so uh yeah it's a bit chillier than it was but uh no, this is scotland no offense to anyone in scotland always a bit colder isn't it let's talk about the supercharger urinal rule try not to go next to somebody else when you're a supercharger because sometimes they they share power between pairs you'll see one a one b the urinal rule especially comes into play when you're wearing flip-flops in a men's urinal though that's definitely the time to utilize the urinal rule okay a few minutes later and i'll pull away from here with 49 percent which will see me at glasgow with 38 percent in to the advice. So here I am at uh, 5.45 in central Glasgow. 39% of the battery left. Covered 467.1 miles today actually in the end. So that added up. 249 watt hours per mile which is four miles per kilowatt hour which i think is very good which is 155 watt hours per kilometer so not bad at all is it so very easy car to do such a journey not a problem uh good stereo used autopilot for those cars got fsd so used fsd enhanced autopilot for most of the journey and that we really took the strain out of it as well that was excellent and uh, in terms of charging range, I think you've seen there that the car does it easily. This car does it easily. For a big car, it's supremely efficient. I cannot get this efficiency out of the BMWs, the Audis, the Porsches. The Audis and e-tron GT, Porsche can charge actually faster, but the efficiency of this, I think, trumps them quite happily. So there we go. That's uh, part one. Tomorrow's on to Edinburgh and then uh, journey back but possibly with a twist on the way back so we'll see what happens then but as i near my destination look for parking i'm going to sign off for the first part of the journey here nice and easy see you all tomorrow good morning legends 
It's now Wednesday morning in Glasgow. Oh, God, it's colder here, isn't it? <laughs> right, so uh, off to Edinburgh now. Uh, I've got 36% of the battery, so I probably lost a couple of percent there overnight. Uh, but I'm just on the street in Glasgow, fairly central, so I had sentry mode on. Uh, car's all fine, no problem at all. So let's battle the traffic to Edinburgh. I sent the destination to the car from my phone, uh, from a Google pin. So that's already enough. Let's go. It says I'm going to get to Edinburgh with 21%. So I'm just wary of the traffic getting into Edinburgh, but uh, if I have time, I might stop and charge on the way, but otherwise I'll... Uh, do some charging later. Autopilot's taken me along the M8 quite nicely. It's a bit heavy traffic, but we're still flowing. Uh, so I'm ahead of time. Uh, I don't need to be in central Edinburgh till 10 o'clock. So I'm just going to swing into the Tesla Edinburgh Service Centre where they've got some 10, uh, 10 free superchargers there. Uh, the uh, V2, uh, 250 kilowatts, I think. So it does tell me here that uh, reminds you if you've got Model S or next, you do need a CCS adapter to be able to use those superchargers. Uh, because they're V2 ones only, so it does prompt you and remind you that if you've got Model 3 or Model Y, you don't need to have that. But yeah, they've got 12 stores there, 250 kilowatt power. Uh, this Model S can't take 250. Um, we because we have to use a CCS adapter, I think it's limited to about 150 kilowatts. Uh, but because it's such a big battery, it can sustain that for quite a while. So it doesn't charge quite as quick as a Model 3 or Model Y, but it can sustain a kind of 130, 140, 150 kilowatts for a longer period. So you can add good miles uh, so yeah I'll swing off and get some uh, get some top up while I'm there for me the supercharging is actually free thanks to all the legends out there that use my referral code to buy their new Teslas uh, so I accumulated a few free supercharging miles uh, which I obviously make good use of as part of making these videos but otherwise it would be 50 pence per kilowatt hour if you didn't have that uh, but oh, I've got the spare time, so I'll have a coffee at Tesla Edinburgh. Say hello to the guys in the service centre there. So after a coffee and a quick chat to the lovely people at Tesla Edinburgh, I leave there with 80%. Now time to head to the town centre. Hey guys, right, so now I'm up in Inverness. And I'll tell you my plan in a minute. Uh, so I'm absolutely brimming this Model S. So you can see here I've reached 100% charge now. It's uh, 8 in the evening. Uh, but it still says calculating. That's because it's doing like a cell balancing uh, procedure now. So if you really leave it on the supercharger until the absolute won't charge anymore, it does a bit of cell balancing apparently. So my Scotland trip so far, 676 miles, 251 watt hours per mile, which is pretty remarkable, I think, for a car this size. Um, so that's good. Uh, that works at 156 watt hours per kilometer. And that is also four miles per kilowatt hour. So this is the Inverness supercharger. And let me tell you what my plan is now. I'm probably gonna call it a wrap for this video as sort of part one of the Scotland trip. And hopefully what this has shown is that driving up the UK and all around is really super easy, especially in a car like this Tesla Model S long range. It is just a fantastic thing, super comfortable. Uh, the infotainment's great and it's just a pleasure to be in. Of course, the range is excellent and the charge is excellent. So you can see long distance is really no problem at all. And I didn't even have anywhere to charge when I parked last night. Normally that would be a great thing to do. Uh, right, okay, but what I'm gonna do here is um, call this a wrap. My plan is, and it's something I wanna do for a while, is I'm gonna continue north now. I'm gonna go, you guessed it, John O'Groats, yep. So I'm gonna go up to John O'Groats, ready for tomorrow. And what I wanna to do tomorrow is the famous John O'Groats to Land's End run. Uh, like I say, in a previous video, we did Edinburgh to London non-stop, and what better challenge to bet that, better that than the John O'Groats to Land's End. And there's been a couple of records set with the John O'Groats to Land's End uh, trip as well. So maybe I've stand a chance of beating the record there so far. Uh, so about three years ago, I think it must be now, uh, three guys in a Tesla Model 3 performance, although they use smaller wheels, um, set a record of, and I'll get the exact numbers, and I'll put it in probably that next video, uh, something like 15 hours and something with about one and a half hours of charging time to do all that distance. And that's a mega record. I mean, hats off to them. It's going to be really hard to try and match or beat that, especially me single-handedly. I haven't really planned this, but 
I was in Scotland anyway, and the weather's quite good and warm, so let's use this opportunity to do it. So I haven't really planned it other than I've just decided to go north out of Edinburgh this evening. There was another record as well, by the way, where Ford uh, set a record of just 43 minutes charging time with a Mark E long range. But I dismissed that record. It's nonsense to me because they're driving like 30 miles an hour and took 27 hours to do the journey. So that's just silly. That's not something I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be seeing how quickly I can do it, driving at speed limits and how much charging time that journey will need. It's the furthest trip you can do in the UK, uh, point to point, furthest north, furthest south. 855 odd miles, something like that. Uh, so it's going to be a real challenge on my hands. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so because the next video should be an absolute belter. And uh, I might say the record might not, but it'd be a good adventure along the way. And again, it gives us a good chance to show just how much charging time you do need and how it's just not an inconvenience. Hope you've seen from this trip that I've needed to stop more than the car. It really has not been a problem to cover many hundreds of miles, even without overnight charging. Uh, so there we are. Uh, test the Model S long range, brim in itself. It's probably done now um, and I'll get underway. So make sure you stay subscribed, hit the bell icon for notifications of that new video. It should be an absolute blinder. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on any of our videos. And it's still calculating here at the moment, so I'll give it a few more minutes until it will not take any more. And then I know that this car is in prime condition for tomorrow. I've worked out from this journey, I've got a bit over 93 kilowatt hours usable, I think, which uh, would have been about 95 kilowatt hours usable from its 100, 100 kilowatt hour battery uh, when it was new. But <clears throat> again, Tesla never tell you that kind of thing. But generally, people say 95 kilowatt hours usable. It's got 44,000 miles in it, so uh, yeah, maybe I've lost one or two kilowatt hours, but. Still seems to be there, but nonetheless, uh, I've made the most of this opportunity to just grab us some refreshments, and then I'm going to be carrying further north. Remember, John O'Groats says another two and a half hours north of here, so it is going to be an epic trip tomorrow. So stay subscribed. That's it for this one. See you then. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our videos. If you like our content and want to see more, don't forget to not only subscribe, but also hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any new videos as they're uploaded. Plus, we're also on Instagram, just look up R Simons or RSEV. Us, we're on Facebook and Twitter. So lots of news, stories, and things as we go on each one of those channels.